educational interventions, the problem is burgeoning. Even children as young as six are affected. Bullying, an old age phenomenon, but is ballooning in South African schools. Often, the victims don't speak out and the effect is chilling. I mean, in, 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 in during break times, there's a song that they sing about me. It's about this lady with big boobs and it's, 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 it's a funny song. And they all, they tickle me about my legs, my weight. A staggering 10% of pupils drop out of school due to bullying. The six-year-old now refuses to attend classes. He was bullied daily. And his mother wants to shield him from that daily trauma. The usually bubbly child is now reticent and despondent. I noticed in January... Um, Every Sunday when we are getting ready for school, he'd panic. And I'll ask him, how is school? And he said, Mommy, you know, can I go, please go back to grade R? It's not nice there at school. But I didn't notice because I thought he's just being, you know, kids. Despite the school preaching the ills of bullying, the situation prevails. Currently, the child is being counseled. He's struggling from anxiety. <laughs> You know, in the morning, when he has to go to school, he won't like. He'd say, Mommy, please, can you take me and wait for me there at school? And wait for me, wait for me. Don't. You know, it's, it's bad. It's bad. And he has a low self-esteem. You, you know, he won't even undress in front of me anymore now. He said, I'm going to laugh at him. It can have an extreme detrimental effect on it. Uh, children tend to withdraw themselves, they become extremely depressed and uh, there's been many cases where the child gets so withdrawn he doesn't speak to anybody and they even go to such extremes that they commit suicide. The Department of Education says there are several anti-bullying programs. Normally when uh, um, bullying has been reported in one of our schools, um, um, the principal should report it to the EDO, Education Development Officer, who will then facilitate a training for the learners uh, that are involved. Normally, we don't only take those two. We also include others so that we can inculcate positive thinking within the learners. Uh, these programs include one, um, sport for youth development, uh, two, peace education, three, a program called uh, understanding bullying and how to deal with it. But some children can be cruel and state interventions, well, meaning as they are, are little comfort to thousands who are being bullied daily. Psychologists suggest victims should walk away and avoid confrontation. They should practice confidence and confide in adults. If we're Borti, SABC News, Port Elizabeth. All right, we'll take a breather now. Here's Azui with your weather.